Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this awesome looking illustration in Adobe XD and use this toggle right here to change between light mode and dark mode. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you want to follow along this tutorial, make sure to check out the practice file. It's going to be linked down below in my membership. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube videos, including this one. So if you want to get all of that and much, much more, make sure to check out my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Now to get started, you can see I have this artboard right here called Dark Mode. It's 1920 by 1080 and I also have all of these colors and one single component because if I unzoom, you can see that I only have this one artboard for this tutorial. So if I switch to Layers panel and click right here, you can see we have the component called Modes which has the default state and the dark state. So we have just two states and we have this toggle right here as the trigger to switch between our states. So if I show you inside how everything is structured, basically to achieve this smooth look which I show you, the only thing you need is to duplicate your layers because if you want to have a, that transition with a single layer, it's never going to be as smooth and I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second. So let's get started with the bottom elements. So you can see that we have a uh, text mode, uh, dark mode text right here. So I have the mask and I have mode and mode. Mode is the original color, which is this color right here, which I have in my color palette right here called night. And to show you the other one, this one is white and the opacity is at 0%. So if I increase it, you can see how it looks like. Same story with the mask. So I have dark and light text just with a mask on top of it. So light is the white color, dark is this night color. So basically when it changes, it's going to change from light to dark. Same story goes for the toggle. So we have the selector, which is this circle right here. And the main selector is this color, but selector light is white color. Opacity is down to 0%. Then we have the pill itself, which is this shape. So once again, white color and this border color, but dark is this color and this border color. So it just switches. Once again, this is at 100 opacity, but when it switch, uh, switches to dark mode, I'm going to lower down the opacity and it's going to turn into this. So if I show you the overall scene, but before I do that, let me show you the background light color. So it's this color. And if I lower down the opacity, background dark is this color. So basically the same story goes for all of the elements. And speaking of the elements, let's jump into scene. We have one big mask, which is the shape of this uh, rectangle, this box, this square, however you want to call it. So we have the mask, which is that shape. Then we have the frame, which is this shape, but with this border color. And we have the dark frame. So once again, the same story with the duplicates. This is the dark, almost black color, which I call right here. And uh, we have it set to this. But when I switch to dark mode, this original is going to lower down the opacity and reveal this darker color. Then we have the hills. Again, the same story. This is the light green. This is the dark green. You can see it right here. Sun and Moon I'm going to show you in just a second, but before that we have the stars, which in this default state or light state, however you want to call it, is uh, are all the way up to here. And I spaced them out like this because I want to achieve this smooth look when they come down into place inside of the dark mode. Then we have the cloud, which is just this single cloud, which is going to disappear and then reappear when you hit the toggle. Then we have the sky, which is this original color. You can see uh, fill and border colors are the same. And we have the dark sky. So once again, border color is this, but fill color is this. So when I lower down the opacity of this original one, there you go. So now finally, let's switch to sun and the moon. So if I uh, lower down like this, you can see sun is right here. Moon is right here. But how did I achieve that effect of them coming into place? It's really super simple, just use a circle. So if I bring the opacity back to 100, you can see I just use that circle. And when I do the rotation from light to dark mode, these elements are going to follow the circle's trajectory and they're going to come into place like I envisioned them to do in the first place. But I'm going to lower down the uh, opacity of the circle itself because it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that all of these three elements are contained inside of a group. So when you do your rotation, you just click right here and rotate the group like this and then back like this and it's going to always follow that circle as the trajectory because it's again the perfect circle. So let's switch to dark mode and let me show you the, all of these elements. You can see them changing right here. So 
if I jump inside, you can see that the text mask. So we have light and dark changing places. When I click the dark, it's right here. Once again, same story for the toggle. It's selected right here. And finally, for the scene, let me jump inside and show you the stars, for example, or the cloud. Cloud is now right here. Stars are now right here and sun and moon have rotated. Now we have hills at 0% and hills dark is at 100%, frame is at 0%, frame dark is at 100% and finally we have the sky at 0% and dark sky at 100%. In terms of animation, let me switch back to the default state, click the prototype and once again we have this uh, trigger right here as the tap, auto animate, destination is dark, I used easy in out but you can use snap, you can use wind up or bounce, however you want this animation to look. But in my case, I want to use in, easy in out because I want to have this uh, smooth looking transition in and out. Duration is two seconds and because I have it at two seconds, it's nice and smooth and buttery. But if you want it to happen a little bit faster, then you can change this to one second, 0 0.8, whatever you want. Then what we have is if I switch to dark mode, and select my toggle right here you can see that we have exactly the same animation exactly the same settings just going back to the default state now if you're wondering where can you use this exactly where you can animate your icons in adobe xd bring them to after effects then export uh, your lotti files from after effects and then use this as a lotti animation and you can use it quite easily in your dashboard in your website design app design switching teams and stuff like that you can use these exact techniques just a little bit simpler with your icons or if you want to use these colorful icons for example then you can use these exact same techniques just with other icons for example clock icon or home icon or bookmark icon whatever you want you can animate in that exact same style now for the end, let's check it out once again. So let me go into full screen and let me show you how it looks like once again. So when I click right here, everything is going to change. And because we have that uh, two seconds uh, duration, you can see all of these elements nicely coming into play. Everything is buttery smooth. Everything is nice looking. And because I put the sun and the moon behind the hills layer, that's why they are disappearing and reappearing from behind the hills as they are doing in real life. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching it. I really hope you learned something new. If you want to check out more of my tutorials, make sure to subscribe, make sure to visit my channel. I upload new videos every single week about Adobe XD design, passive income techniques and a lot more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out and to subscribe. And until next time, take care.